Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to rig our character using a biped. Uh, last time we looked at how to rig our character using a cat rig. Today we are going to look at how to do it using a biped. So biped is available if you go from the create panel onto the last option to the system. There's a biped. All right. All you have to do is click and drag to create the biped. If you go to the motion panel, these are the biped options. You have to turn on the figure mode. And once you do that at the bottom, you will get a structure option. If the figure mode is off, you don't get the structure option. Okay. So you have to make sure that this button, which says figure mode is on. And then you can access the different bone types so here you can see that there is a male female a classic and a skeleton type uh, there are arms if you want uh, earlier uh, biped was the only option to rig the character other than the bones uh, before cat system came in so the biped uh, rig was also intended to be used as an animal rig with a four leg four legs so the arms would act as the front two legs and then the legs would act as the back two legs <coughs> uh, and then you could have a longer neck if you had a giraffe like character you could increase the spine bones so that you can get nice bend in the spine leg links again if you had an animal skeleton you could have extra leg link you could have a tail uh, if you had an animal and then there's a pony there are two ponytails so if you had any extra features to animate then we'll go to the feet and there are multiple toes available uh, in our case it's a shoe so we only need one Okay, and then toe links. So if you had a toe, and then you could animate each toe, and then if you had some props, you'd get additional bones. Okay, so once the rig is created, what we will do is we'll unfreeze all and frozen. So you should freeze your character and before you do that you can click on the x-ray mode or the see-through mode okay and then you can then freeze your character then you can select the biped and in the front view the biped has to be exactly in the middle Okay, and then it has to be down. So we will reduce the height here. Okay. Now, this leg has to come here, but the leg doesn't move. Okay. So what you have to do is scale. Okay, and then we will only one work on one leg and then we will copy paste it on the other side. So now the leg has to be here. And in the left view, again we have to make sure that our biped is in the middle, which seems like it is in the middle. I will move one leg in the front so I know which one I'm working on. 
move it back so get it out of the way so we'll place even this one needs to be out of the way I'll delete this one okay so the leg so the leg is bending here so we'll move that there Okay, this is the ankle so we can scale it little bit rotate it back all right we will have to scale this one until here the scaling is little weird to find the right scale option and then this is the one for the foot needs to be scaled okay, it's really weird the way it is okay, so you can see so we will have to make sure that yeah so this now that we have this one leg set up we'll move on to the spine Spine will go, and then we will simply hide these two. We cannot remove them. Remove them. So they can just stay outside. It just looks weird, so it's better to hide them. Okay. So once that is done, we need to copy paste. So let us look at copy paste. Copy paste. So you have to copy posture and paste posture opposite double click on the left and copy posture paste posture opposite okay so the other leg will snap in there and our rig is now ready the figure mode off you can then animate I think you have to create a you have to go to key info and then you have to create a set planted key and once you do a set planted key then you can rotate the feet so you select the foot and click on you have to get out of the figure mode and look for key info and then click on set planted key and then you can get that rotation all right so we'll have to unfreeze all select our character turn off the mesh mode and then add again the 
can modify it like we did. And then we have to add the bones. Select. And then there are certain bones we don't want. So let us look at the different bones that we have. So we can again freeze selection. Okay, this is called biped head. This is spine. This is pelvis, this is left thigh, left calf, left foot, and left toe. Okay, and freeze all. Select this, skin modifier. Okay, so biped O2. We don't want we'll remove it. Footsteps don't want remove, head don't want remove, calf we want, foot, thigh, toe, neck we don't want remove, pelvis we don't want remove, calf, foot, thigh, toe, spine. Alright, so these are the bones that we need save this file okay next class we will look at uh, skinning skinning is same as the catrix skinning but we'll still go over the skinning part